Kim K dishes on Kylie's split with Tyga. Ariana Grande's benefit concert lineup has been announced. And Fifth Harmony teased their first single without Camila. All that and more on today's rundown. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dur. Happy Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. <laughs> it's Monday for us. But guys, we have a great episode. We're going to be talking about Bella Thorne. Mm -hmm. Dating her ex again. Oh, uh, I'm like, guys. I couldn't even finish the sentence because I'm so shocked. But she ran back to her ex later in the episode. We have Yeah, that. but first up, we've got all the details on Fifth Harmony's new music. 583 is coming, and it's coming sooner than we expected. And they so, look so hot on that cover. They look really good. So Fifth Harmony took to their Instagram account just this morning to post the cover art for their new song titled Down, featuring Gucci Mane. So the song is going to drop on June 2nd, which is just a few days away. But before this big announcement, the group's Twitter account dropped a hint, writing on May 28th, quote, it's going down on Snapchat this week. So that same day, Lauren Haregi posted a set of location coordinates, which ended up being her hometown of Miami, Florida. So fans who went to that location in Miami got access to a Snapchat filter with lyrics from their upcoming song. The filter lyrics read when push comes to show you show me love long as you're holding me down i'm gonna keep loving you down so each member of fifth harmony is going to take to their twitter account this week uh, to drop different coordinates which you can go on snapchat how find creative a filter. is that think about it that's like i've unheard of well the closest thing we've seen to that in the past is Katy perry with her right uh, with the ball with her disco balls i think a few of our co-workers actually went and found them so it is a really cool way <laughs> to get people excited about their music. I just can't wait to hear it. I know. The girls will be performing the song live on Good Morning America the day of its release on June 2nd. What will they sound like without Camila? We'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. And like I said, Rylan, in other important news, Bella Thorne has run back to her ex. Important news? Greg Sulkin. Okay, I feel like just a few days ago, we were talking about her cuddling up with Scott Disick in France, which totally went south because Right away, she kind of like dissed him on Twitter. After he was making out with his ex Chloe. while on a vacation with her. <laughs> this I gets can't. so confusing, guys. Okay, well, Bella posted this Instagram photo captioning it, quote, Happy birthday, Greg. I love you. Always been such a wonderful person. Glad you are here through thick and thin. Let's party, you old man. And no, it's not a throwback picture of Bella and Greg. It's a current one, and as you can see, they're just sort of cuddling. She's on top of him. I'm so confused. I'm like, first of all, if you're Greg, why would you like let her back in your life? Didn't she sort of like, I don't know. I love them together, but then she just went buck wild. And the fact that she's sort of making it like, oh, like happy birthday, like let's party. Like you're, I don't know. She's trying too hard to just make it so a friendship. We know that this is a current photo because she also took to her Snapchat uh, posting of the right. two of them swimming. So it is current day, but it is weird that I think it's normal to run back to your ex uh, when feeling uncomfortable at a, or in a time of need. But what's strange is that she's showcasing it for the world. But that's I think what she does. So I guess we should get used to it. But are they going to get back together? I don't know. That's that is the question. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Maybe by Friday, we'll know. TBD. <laughs> Kim Kardashian graced Watch What Happens Live, and she got super candid while playing Plead the Fifth. So the rules to this game are that she has to answer three questions, but can plead the fifth to only one of them. So the first one that everyone's talking about is Andy's second question, where he asked Kim about Kylie's split with Tyga, and Kim got a little bit flustered. Last minute, and you decided to like have a little Moscato, and that's the whole thing. Yeah. But how did you um, come to that? None of you guys yeah. are really. No, none of us really. Um, I mean, I think that my dad always just put such a responsibility on me in college and high, I don't want to say high school, but whatever. Courtney was such a big drinker. Right. And for the first time, we've gotten the real scoop on Kylie's split with her longtime boyfriend, Tyga. It seems like all is well now and it's pretty drama free in the world of Kylie. And for Kim's final question, Andy asked Kim, what are the chances of her mom, Chris, and Caitlin ever speaking again? Zero, one. Really? No, I would say two. Two percent. And those are Kendall and Kylie. Oh, I guess so. That settles that. that exactly. Only for the kids. But She's been her. I mean, Kim knows, so 
Yeah, on to another interesting fan question <laughs> was this. Sam asked if it was awkward for Kendall after Kim exposed Taylor Swift's lies on Snapchat. Take a look. I don't know if Kendall was a part of her squad. I don't think she was. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't think it was awkward. Um, have you heard from her since then? Any contact since then? No. Yeah. And finally, Kim spoke out about Kendall's controversial Pepsi ad, saying Kendall felt really awful. What did you think of Kendall's whole Pepsi controversy? She totally understood at the end of the day, and she felt really awful for it, and she just wants to move on from it. <laughs> well, that was interesting. So now we know that Kendall is no longer part of Taylor's squad. <laughs> or was possibly never a part of it to begin yeah. with. And in other news, Ariana Grande, Frankie Grande, and Ariana herself have already spoken out. And there's so much good news that is to come after the tragic Manchester incident. So Ariana Grande, as you guys know, announced her benefit concert, which will take place this Sunday. And it's mm -hmm. going to feature amazing other artists like Justin Bieber, Coldplay, Katy Perry, Pharrell, Imagine. So as you guys saw, Ariana's benefit concert will be called One Love Manchester. And for all of us that can't fly to England to be there, it's going to be live streamed, which is amazing. The show's net ticket price proceeds will benefit We Love Manchester Emergency Fund, established by Manchester City Council and the British Red Cross. So as we know, this is kind of Ariana's way of helping the family members and all of those affected. Now, her mom spoke out for the very first time after the one week anniversary of the tragic incident on Memorial Day and Joan wrote on Twitter, this past week I have spent in reflective thoughts, prayer and deep sorrow. I join my daughter in extending my help and services to all those affected by the diabolical act of terror which occurred in Manchester. My heart goes out to all the victims, those who lost their lives, those injured, those recovering, and all survivors of that night, along with the families and friends whose grief knows no bounds. I stand with you all in the face of evil, and we stand together to never let it rule our lives. Now, Frankie, uh, Ariana's brother, also uh, released his statement, and he said, I echo my sister's sentiment and say we can't allow hate and fear to propagate fear, but rather come together and spread a message of love unity and empowerment and i mean i feel like by them doing this benefit concert they're really relaying that that message of unity and power i mean justin bieber imagine all of these mm -hmm. artists Cyrus, are gonna yes they're all gonna be flying there and i feel like it's gonna be a very emotional night but it's gonna just be amazing that they're doing this yeah and i love that so many celebrities are backing this that they're standing with her and performing in a place where something so awful just happened right all right, Viv, Harry Styles has called a fan to tell her that he loves her. In the wake of the tragic Manchester attack, one teen received a major, major surprise. According to the Manchester Evening News, 14-year-old Freya Lewis is not only a survivor of last week's brutal attack, she's a fan of Harry Styles. So last week, Freya fought to survive after receiving devastating injuries. She attended the concert with her friend who was killed in the attack. So after receiving a call from Harry Styles, who also actually grew up in Manchester, it seems the teen's spirits have finally been lifted. After her sister Georgia posted a video on social media that Freya was his biggest fan, the post apparently made it all the way to Harry himself. Freya's sister Georgia wrote on Facebook, I cannot believe it, Mr. Harry Styles just rang my dad. Hearing his voice has been a great lift and Freya has totally woken up and is completely in shock that he rang. They told each other that she loved him. Thank you everyone for everything. I love you all. I teared up, Rylan. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even like explain. Like imagine being that girl, you just lost your best friend but the least you can receive is like a phone call from your favorite idol, right. you know? Right, and again, I'm going to say I love that all of these people with huge influence on other people's lives are reaching out and helping those in need at this moment. And that's a wrap for today's episode, but guys, I wanna know, am I the only crazy one or do you guys think Bella and Greg are gonna get back together or should she leave them alone? <laughs> I think they'll be together for about a week until she moves on to somebody else, but I also wanna know what you think about new Fifth Harmony music. Are you living or what? Let's talk about it in the comment section below and we will be right back here tomorrow. See ya. For more, click left to see Ariana Grande's lengthy statement following the Manchester attack. Or click right for the last episode of Clever's emotional show featuring Aaron's medical journey. It's called It Got Real.